Tiffany is a stay-at-home mom raising two boys under the age of three, and she admits that can be exhausting. But her fiance, Jeremy, is convinced that she's been cheating. He says she never wants to be intimate with him and won't even sleep in the same bed with him at night. Jeremy says he can't help but feel like she doesn't love him anymore. Um, Tiffany, tell me uh, what's going on. Well, pretty much for the past year, my fiance has been constantly accusing me of cheating. He doesn't believe anything that I say. I can't even put makeup on and want to feel good about myself and go to the grocery store without him making a smart comment like, well, who are you getting dressed up for? Where are you going? You know, who are you going to go see? It's just every day there's something. It's gotten so bad, I don't know what else to do. Um, I recently went to out of town to a hospital with a relative of mine. And we were going down to visit somebody. Well, he FaceTimes me, Jeremy does. And he'll do that every now and then to make sure I am where I say I am. So he FaceTimes me, I show him the room. Yeah, this is where we're at. Well, of course, we're visiting. We're staying down there. My keys end up falling down the elevator shaft. We end up getting stuck there for a while. We get home. Your keys fell down the elevator shaft. Yes. Like, the, you mean the, where the doors open, that little crack right yes, there? Yes, that little crack. Ironically, oh. they fall down there. He thinks I made this whole story up. So do I, but I mean. I swear. <laughs> like, of, I'm only kidding. of all things, why would I make up that? Okay. Right. I get home, the first thing he does, where the hell have you been? It don't take eight hours to go there. Blah, 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 blah. Well, what did you think I was going to do? Go down there and stay there five minutes and come back home? No. So yeah, I was gone a while. But the week before, I had to go pick up a new mattress. So since I went somewhere two separate weeks, you must have a man out of town. You, you got a man out of town you're secretly going and seeing. Something, something's fishy, something's not right. Like, I'm, I'm sick of this. Like, right. it's, this is my um, breaking point. <laughs> so before we get on with the story, did you get your keys back? Yes, I did get yeah, my keys back. <laughs> Okay. Um, so, some, uh, how, how long you been with Jeremy? About three years. Three years. And you have two, uh, two boys? Yes, two boys. Two boys. And uh, we know when kids are real small, under the ages of three, that, that that's a handful for anybody, yes. uh, especially if you're uh, taking care of them. Uh, here's, yeah, so you, so you got two little boys. And that's constant uh, care for them. Mm -hmm. He says, though, you know, you're not being intimate with them. Uh, you're not, you're not the same anymore. I have two kids. <laughs> I, know, I know. I understand. Okay, if you're constantly being accused every day of sleeping with somebody else, are you going to go home and jump in bed with that person? Probably not. Because let me ask you, did you ever cheat on them? No. Never. Never. So, if you never cheated on him, what do you think brought this on? I honestly do not know. And he, you say that uh, you, you take off your engagement ring. Yes, I took off my engagement ring. One of the diamonds fell out. So, it needs to be reset. Do you, does he want me to wear a ring missing a diamond? <laughs> like, I'm sorry, but I'm not going to wear it missing a diamond until it's fixed. Do you think he cheats on you? Deep down, I don't think he is, but I wonder, like, what, where is this coming from? I told him, like, I could take 10 polygraph tests, pass them all, but unless you figure out why you're accusing me, the thoughts are never going to go away. You're right. going to keep thinking it. All right, well, let's meet him. Here's Jeremy. There's got to be a reason why you, uh, I don't know. Where's your ring at right now? What, it's what, at home. Why didn't you get it fixed? You had two weeks. You knew we was I coming out here. I have two little kids. What okay. do you want me to do? What do you want me to Fix do? Fix the ring. I mean, How? we're going on national television. Everybody in the world's going to see it. Okay, so I'm supposed to take the kids into the jewelry store with me. No, you wait until I get home from work. At least call get, get, get it priced. That's, I'll it watch doesn't the kids. matter. I'll it watch doesn't the matter if I'm wearing the ring or not. Just because I'm not doesn't mean I'm out screwing somebody. But tell me a good reason why you're on my stage 
Why do you think she's cheating? You Other don't than have one. Uh, she forgot to put her ring on. Uh, she went to visit somebody in a hospital. Give me something. Why do you think that she's cheating? He has nothing. There is no nothing at all. It's in his head. Uh, if she takes a lie detector test and fails, what happens? We'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it, I guess. Really? Yeah, man. I mean, what do you want so, me to uh, say? I mean, right, I, I, that's something say? that I can't uh, that, that you can't forget. But I mean, I don't oh, want my kids. So if to, she to fails, with, you would possibly try to work it out with her. We'd try, maybe. Yeah. yeah. So. She's here because she says she's never cheated on her, and you've made her life miserable by constantly accusing her. Mm -hmm. So now she fails the test and confirms all your deepest, darkest fears, and somehow you'll be better? Well, uh, I hope that that doesn't happen. I mean, if you do fail, you know you should run as fast as you can. <laughs> He knows this is it. This is like the last straw. The it's... last straw. <laughs> this last is it. Straw. All right, Jeremy came here and took a lie detector test. And we asked him, since you've been in a relationship with Tiffany, have you had sexual physical contact with any other females? He answered no. Since you've been in a relationship with Tiffany, have you had sexual intercourse with any other females? He answered no. The results came back that Jeremy told the truth. Could you have been cheating, Tiffany? No, no, never have. Because Swear. I mean, now Jeremy, here he is. Just he's he's been faithful. Oh, I, I didn't really question him. No, that you much. didn't. But you know, sometimes, like you said, somebody question, question, questions. Usually they're yeah. up to no good. But he's he's been doing good. So that kind of makes me feel funny about yours. Oh. <laughs> uh, Tiffany came here. She took a lie detector test. And we asked her, since you've been in a relationship with Jeremy, have you had any sexual physical contact with any other males? She answered no. Since you've been in a relationship with Jeremy, have you had sexual intercourse with any other males? She answered no. And the results for Tiffany's lie detector test is that she told the truth. I told I you. For how? No, it's it's no. That just it upsets me and it okay. still pisses me off. Like and everything isn't all better now. It's not all better. I know. But you know now. I've I've never done anything and I never have. I right, I don't plan on it. But please. And you'll see a change. Okay, That's all I can see. say. We I mean, because this is it. See. Like you know, I we do talked know. about this and this is. If nothing changes, then you know it's not it's going not to work. work. I can't put my kids through it. I don't want to put myself through it. All right. Fair enough said. Not that I'm advising this, but now you could go out and cheat all you want because he said, hey. Now it's like, yeah, I know. <laughs> I passed that test. You're paranoid. Um, no, uh, but he here's the deal. I, I always say, like, there's people do cheat and they have affairs and they do whatever. But, like, to cause somebody that you love heartache, grief, frustration of being accused all the time when she's not doing anything, that's the part that, like, is, it, relationships end because of that, mm -hmm. and there's nothing going on. Yeah. And so I would hope that, you know, when you're in, really in love with somebody, you wouldn't make accusations unless you could base it on something, which you really didn't. So you do have two boys, you have a family. I hope that in the future that you give her the benefit of the doubt. Yeah, I Good will. luck to you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. If you like what you see, all new episodes are coming and you do not want to miss out. Click subscribe now.